Welcome back to Spirit Lifter. The beer today is German, but it is certainly not your typical Pils, Helles, or Bach. And don't let the name of the brewery confuse you, because we're in Saxony, not Bavaria. As Kölsch is to Köln, so Gose is to Leipzig. However, this style of beer has roots in the town of Goslar before it migrated from Lower Saxony to Saxony proper. Back in 1842, the groundwork was laid for train tracks to run between Leipzig and Altenburg in Bavaria. And in the days when industrialization was speeding up the pace of life, stations like that in Leipzig were the perfect place to operate breweries, guest houses, and restaurants. Bombings during the Second World War saw the train traffic diminish, and even with the help of locals through the years of the German Democratic Republic, business largely came to a halt. Thankfully, renovations resulted in the reopening of the old Bayerische Bahnhof, and in July of 2000, the Regionalgoza was slaking thirst once again. Generally, gozas are slightly sour, with many brands making use of proprietary yeasts and seasonings. The original Leipziger Goza from the Bayerische Bahnhof itself makes use of lactic acid for some sourness, backed up by a duet of cilantro and salt. Measuring in at 4.5% alcohol by volume, this Goza is just a little less potent than most brands of lager. The Bayerische Bahnhof original Leipziger Goza pours a little turbid, likely attributable to the use of malted wheat. Aromas are earthy, like a warm breeze flowing over a meadow. The cilantro lends a refreshing herbal character, while the salt follows up with a dry finish. The inclusion of these ingredients means that this goza falls outside of what is traditionally considered a beer in Germany, but it is an undeniably unique brew with a deep connection to the region. If you'd like to enjoy it with a meal, I'd recommend homestyle German cuisine. I'm thinking Sauerbraten with a side of Leipziger Allerlei and some cheesy Spätzle. The marinated meat would complement the gentle sourness of the beer, with the vegetables and noodles acting as a contrast to both. If you're from Leipzig, leave a comment on what you'd pair your goza with. Locals know best, after all. Thank you kindly for watching. We're heading back to the Middle East next week to sample a dark brew. Perfect time for this stuff. One of my favorite celebrations is coming up. For now, Gläser hoch!